So you became a student? Yes, so after finishing one year teaching at the university, because I came with a bachelor degree, so it was okay. from fall, uh, August 2008 to May 2009. Uh, when okay. I finished that one, on June 1st, I flew to Tanzania, on June, I mean, May, end of May, I flew to Tanzania. I arrived June 1st in Tanzania. On June 2nd, I went to the U.S. Embassy to get another visa. So from exchange visitor visa is a Fulbright to international student visa with a full scholarship of 60,000. So now I was moving to California to do my master's degree. Wow. So now you came back now as a student. Yes, I came as a student. That is not a green card yet. <laughs> not yet. But not yet. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So what as a student, uh, my program was one year program because masters in my, in US mostly are two years program. Mine was one year program because you had the option. Uh, the, you don't choose, but there are one year and two years. Uh, okay. When you apply, they look on your resume and the background. They say if you have enough experience, they put you on one year. If you don't have much experience, you have to be in two years. So for okay. me, with my experience, they put me in one year. So it is one year program. After finishing. You have to do the OPT, optional practical training. So if you do okay. bachelor, master's, or PhD in the United States, when you graduate, they give you uh, the opportunity to get work permit to work for full year. But if you're in, we're in the science engineering programs, you go to 18 months and you can extend a little bit if they can give you extra few months. So for me, I was, I was doing master's in PC studies and conflict resolution. Uh, so while I was doing my master's, Usually we have to have a goal next, uh, the next, what will be the next move from there. So for me, I was, okay, I'm doing my master's. For my master's, I'm doing PhD. So that was uh -huh. goal there. And obviously, I know, I, I know everything about the scholarship. So I've already taken the, I've taken the exam when they are ready to apply, whatever. Uh, but at the same time, I know I'll be living in America for the rest of my life. I know that. So obviously, I have to start a family. That uh -huh. then I had the opportunity to meet my wife currently. Uh, so uh -huh. I met my wife, so we started becoming friends, then just got engaged. So I got married with her while I was still a student. Uh, wow. Almost like uh, I got married on May 1st, 2010, and uh, May 22nd was our graduation. So like 22 days before. But I didn't, after get, getting married, I didn't apply green card right away. Because I wanted to continue to be an international student to get a full scholarship as an international okay. student. I didn't want to start going as a green card and then possible loan. I didn't want to be tempted to take any loan. So I didn't yeah. apply green card right away. I applied the green card. Even if I got married in 2010, I applied for green card uh, end of 2011. Almost I got my green card. It was almost October, November 2011. When I was going to 2012, beginning of 2012 is when I got my actual card. Green card. Yeah. Wow. So now after getting your green card, now you are like permanent resident. Yes. Uh, but for me, yes, I was permanent resident. But as I said, I did. this is what I'm telling people many times. I didn't come to America just to be a normal person. Mm. If I want to be a normal person, I could do a lot of those normal things while I'm in Tanzania. Mm. Possible now could be a member of parliament, a corrupt African politician. I don't know. <laughs> Or a pastor, something like that, to give me free money. I don't know. But <laughs> at the point is, I wanted to do great things. I want to go to the higher stages and to set up an example. So for that particular case, uh, for me, just having green card, I know for sure I'm still limited with the op opportunities. I could mm -hmm. not become a governor. I cannot become a mayor. I cannot become congressman. I, I need to have all opportunities. Even if I don't succeed them, I need to have them on my plate. Mm -hmm. So, and one the time when I came to realize my green card is not enough, I got a job which will pay me, it was four month contract. Per month, I was supposed to be paid almost 10,000 US dollar to go to teach Swahili to the US Army in German, in the, they have there. So there are special program in German, I was supposed to fly to German. Everything went well, but when they see the green card, they say, yes, yes, you are already working in America, yes, and when we are in, in that particular land, you are in America, in that base, but if something happens, 
will get into international contract or conflict with your country. You are not an American citizen. What? Yes. So I come to realize that I need to become American. I mean, obviously, my dream was to become an American citizen, but to become an American citizen by green card by marriage, because I've got a green card by marriage, you have to wait for three years of marriage. Mm -hmm. When you apply, they give you two years of green card, which is called the mm -hmm. conditional green card. After two years, you start getting like the one lottery or any other person, they get 10 years. So you mm -hmm. have to, when you get the 10 years, one year after, which will be three years of marriage, you are allowed to apply for citizenship. But any other ways of green card, you have to wait until uh, five, I mean, any other five years. But so for yeah. me, obvious, at that time, I didn't know... Uh, the value of being in the U.S. military. Obviously, you have green card, you have masters, you are excited, you are going to get any job in America. And the country says, oh, I cannot get any job. So there are certain jobs I cannot get it. And I see them, and they pay well. So I need to become an American citizen quicker. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So tell us, tell us. one of the ways is when you, you, the benefits of joining the U.S. military are a lot. 